Hey there, it's Yobo. Welcome back to day 278 of life, according to Yobo. It's just my camera so you can see my book a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Hey, appreciate you all coming back. Listen, you know where to catch Yobo. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We are in the series. I know how to act like a lady, but how do I think like a man? Yobo knows, because honey, I have talked to plenty men, and all you got to do is study men. Watch what they do in relationships, but most importantly, watch what they don't do. Continuing now, as we pause the clock, sisters, from the day 277 message, where I showed you how the four-year-old boy, the dude, four, he can't even tie his shoes. He can't even say the alphabet backwards, but yet, he already knows how to manipulate his mother. I had initially told the story wrong. When the mother said, since y'all gonna talk about me, you may as well tell the story right. After she took all this little boy's toys, put him on a punishment, he says to her, Mommy, can we pray? What did that do? That just melted her heart. He wanted to pray. What you want to pray about? First of all, you've been wrong. Now, I'm going to show you another thing men do wrong. Men, know, I mean, not wrong, but I'm going to show you another thing they do that we women fall for. They know how to play the religious card. Once they play that religious card, oh, they got us hook, line, and sinker. Because you ask nine out of ten women, what qualities do you want in a man? One of the first things they're going to say is he got to be a Christian man. That would never, ever, ever, ever on my list. And when I raised my son and when I raised my daughter, I told them, you do not go out looking for a Christian man. Hold, hold, hold up y'all before you stop the video. And let me explain why. When I got married, I was 17 years old, right out of high school. I told my pastor I was getting married. My pastor said, is he saved? I said, no. My pastor said, is he going to allow you to come to church? I said, he doesn't mind me coming to church. And then my pastor gave me the blessing on the marriage. We had gone to Las Vegas and got married. See, your boy wasn't looking for a saved man. I'm going to tell you why now. I ain't been to church all my life. I know saved men that beat up on their wives. I know saved men ain't worked a day in their life. I know saved men... Who talk crazy to their wife? I know. So I talk about Negroes in church on the front row in a collar that can quote the scripture coming and going, cussing their wife out behind closed doors, jumping on their kids, fist fighting, beating up their children with the wife standing there watching, and then leave and go preach at church. I ain't making up none of this. I know saved men who, when they find, when they wife finally get tired of their BS and file for divorce, he got to go live with his mama or go or go live with his grandmama because he ain't never worked a job a day in his life. I know saved men who can't get a job, don't have a driver's license because they're delinquent on child support, got four, five, six, seven kids, ain't never paid a dime in child support. I was looking for a man, my husband, I was looking for a man, he was a kind man, he opened the door. He was polite. He didn't mind picking up the tab. He had a good reputation among people. Didn't go to church. Couldn't speak in tongues. Couldn't do the huckabucka shucker dance. Couldn't fall out. Couldn't say, yay, I say. He couldn't do none of them church shenanigans. Because see, church shenanigans are good inside church. But how do you live outside the church? See, when a brother slide up on you, he want to talk about the goodness of the Lord and how much he loved Jesus. Okay, okay, dude, let me see your credit report. Let me see your medical report. What kind of job do you have? Are you vested on your job? What kind of benefits do you have? Let me see your track record. How many children do you have? Are you current on child support? Do you pay it out of pocket or is it court ordered? When's the last time you filed income tax? When's the last time you've been to the dentist? See, ladies, we got to come out the script, out, out, out the spirit sometime, close the Bible sometime. We got to use common sense 
when it comes to relationships. Because men know they can hoodwink and they can bamboozle us just by coming in the church with their little one shiny, shiny suit on. And them silly broads in church will be fighting each other, each other over the man. Y'all know you're both telling the truth. Brother told me, I wish I had a Bible. Lord, do I have a Bible? So I ain't got no Bible. Oh, here, Cutting Shirley's book. Can I have Cutting Shirley's book up here? Oh, Pastor Shig book, because he's saved. Okay. Hold on just a minute. Hold on, y'all. I swear. See his name there? Do I? Now, he's saved for real. This joker right here, he's saved for real. You watch all his videos on his YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, you ain't going to see him hold up. Life according to Yobo and say, she saved for real. That's what he ain't going to do. But this one right here, he saved for real. I swear on Pastor Shig's book, the story I'm about to tell you is true. The man said, Dwayne Shig, two G's and no S. Find him on Facebook. Encourage man with an N or Dwayne Shig on Facebook. Brother told me. I prefer to get my women out of church. He said, if I meet them on the street, I got to take them out to dinner. If uh, I got, if I meet them in the bar, I got to buy them two drinks. He said, but if I meet them in church, I ain't got to do nothing. They invite me over for dinner. And then if I play my cards right, I get a little dessert too. I swear on Pastor Shea's book, that's what the man told me. He get his women in church. He ladies... We fall for this stuff. We want a Christian guy. We ain't looking at nothing else. That's why I'm telling you. Christian saved what nowhere on my list when it came for me looking for a husband. And if my daughter came through the door right now, she's already married. But if she told me, ooh, mommy, I met, I met a, oh, mommy, I can't wait for you to meet him. I ain't going to say, girl, is he saved? No, I ain't going to say that. What kind of job does Joker have? How many children does he have? Find out why he divorced his last wife. Is he current on his child support? Does he speak to his children? Does he have visitation with his children? When the last time he saw his children? Does he buy them Christmas presents? Does he buy them birthday presents? You better have those little kids come over for the weekend, and you better ask them some questions. What your daddy get you for your birthday? What did your daddy get you for Christmas? And if they tell me, oh, my daddy don't never get me Christmas presents. My daddy don't never get me birthday presents. You better send that joker packing. Give him back his ring and everything else. Because when you have some children with Mr. Save, he ain't going to support your children either. See, these are the kind of things we have to ask. But when the little boy said to the mama, can we pray? Oh, that just melted her heart because he was so sorry for what he was he had done. He was sorry to the point where he wanted to pray about it. My husband would have got cussed out all over again, telling, you do wrong and come rolling up on me and saying you want to pray about it, you're getting cussed out. Come back tomorrow, your boat gonna tell you why. He would get cussed out for wanting to pray about something. All right, y'all. This is day 278 of Life of 42. Yo, Bo. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.